So I've been playing League for a very long time, and believe me when I say that when it comes to being a total dick, I am a master. If the LCS had a total dick competition, I would be faker. So when I drop knowledge about how to be a total dick, I am of course referring to champions in the game. Five separate champions that when played right, will make you horrifyingly annoying without even needing to say anything. Or, it is even funnier when you act like a really nice guy in game, when in reality you're just pulverizing your top lane opponent. Disclaimer. Don't be Chernobyl toxic. Be a nice guy. Don't be a bully. But, even better, be a great guy and a really nice guy while doing this, and it's absolutely hilarious. So, the top five total dick champions for top lane. But first, I got two honorable mentions. Those honorable mentions are Renekton and Riven. Renekton for being an annoying as piss gator who fucks you for any form of auto attack heavy melee champ. And Riven, because a good Riven player is so ridiculously frightening and generally toxic that seeing somebody pick Riven is scary enough. Alright, now let's go into the top 5. Number 5, Fernarnia. Now, a lot of you may question why I put this little shit on the list. Granted, he isn't that tough to fight if you choose the right champ, but this is if you choose the wrong champ. If you pick somebody like Singe, Darius, Scion, Nasus, or anybody like them, you're going to have a shitty fucking day. Not only is he a ranged top laner, which is annoying in its own right, but he is a ranged top laner with some absolutely ridiculous kite and chase potential, and will punish you for even trying to CS. And then you have that ever-looming threat of the Gnar bar. And when that bar fills up and you've already been poked down by countless boomerangs, you're most likely dead after he stuns you for about 5 years and murders your ass. And out of laning phase, that Gnar ultimate is game changing, and it's really hard to avoid if it's a good Gnar player. Just go ahead and E while in small Gnar, bounce, turn into big Gnar, and if that doesn't work, just flash and leave an entire enemy team you can throw into a wall and stun even longer. Gnar is a little bitch, and is extremely annoying to fight under the right circumstances, which is why he is number 5. Alright, number 4. Satan himself. Now, Newer league players will think he belongs much higher on this list, but really Teemo isn't as bad as the shit he gets. But if built right, he is still that little shit. With a poison on his auto attacks, a blind, and movement speed for kiting powers, Teemo is an absolute monster level 1 through 3. Later in the game, depending on what you build, he can get even worse. If you want to be absolutely evil, buy Leandrias, Luden Zeko, and either Riley's or Frozen Mallet. So your Leandrias does double damage on literally all attacks, including basics, and anyone who runs into a shroom will get hit with full damage plus Luden's Echo plus burn damage. And if you want to be a really huge dick, have your jungler force down enemy top tower, then shroom the absolute hell out of your enemy's red or blue side jungle. Then hide and wait and take all their camps. He is easily killed if cut out though, so be very careful with your wards and don't ever extend too much. Also, late game tip, always shroom up Baron or Dragon Pit. Very helpful if you lose a team find the enemies want to Baron or take any other objectives. Just make sure you put them on the edges of the pit or in the pit itself, because if you put it in the river, that little scuttle crab is going to come and fuck him up. But Teemo will always be known as Satan. He is such an annoying champion to fight if played well. There aren't a whole lot of Teemos anymore, but he still has the same effect he used to, and he is a little motherfucker for it. Number 3. MC Wreck Your Face Jace was my baby for a long time. All my friends hated me. Jace is probably in my top 3 favorite champions and he is one of the best champions to make your enemy cry. Being both a melee and ranged champion, his uses are staggering. You'll win almost every 1v1 in lane so long as you don't fuck up completely. You have phenomenally strong poke and wave clear. You have a one-man disengage, a literal talisman in your pocket, and an extremely diverse build path. He does so much damage and it's near impossible to get him 1v1 as he just smacks you back. There isn't really a whole lot I even need to say about Jace. Anybody who's ever gone against him know how bone-crushingly annoying he is. Like the other two, CC and hard engage comms can work against him, but his siege power is so ridiculously strong it's like fighting AP Nidalee but even safer. Number 2, the 6v5 champion. Yorick is how I got out of gold in League of Legends. I spammed this man over and over in gold tier and carried my way out of gold and into platinum. Yorick is an absolutely underrated monster. He has one of the most annoying laning phases in the entire game, especially when fighting melee top lane, and all you need to do is spam W and E, then you will heal, slow them, and then your ghouls will fuck with them, making them either run away or be forced to take the damage. 
You can zone them of their farm almost completely, and you will never lose a tray with the power of your E. Plus, the more ghouls you have down make you take less damage and increase your auto attack damage. And once you've built your tier and upgraded along with a spirit visage, it's pretty much over. You'll never die, and if you do die, you don't die. You spend 10 more seconds exacting vengeance on your enemies, and they can't even target you in a team fight because it's completely pointless. And if you become tanky enough to where they don't target you anyway, you can just ult your AD carry and then you have two AD carries, and then if they die, they don't die for 10 more seconds. You know how they say it, the orc walks into a bar, there is no counter. All right, everybody, number one, literal cancer in bird form. Now, you might not have been expecting this, and I'm the only person I know who plays Quinn ever. And I love Quinn, but I especially love Quinn top lane. And it is the worst thing you could do to another human being. Quinn top is, in my opinion, the most dick thing that you could ever do. But why? Why is this one number one? Why is Quinn top such literal cancer? Well, Quinn's passive makes her auto attacks much stronger and likes to target champs so you can always get in good poke. You have a blind, nuff said. Your W helps against ganks and also gives you major kiting power. It's your E though. Your E is the bread and butter. If your passive marks an enemy, you can auto them, then E them for more damage, which marks them again, and you can slam them with another auto, maybe even another since they've been slow. And then you have your ult to escape or go in for an execute or a dive and also fantastic for lane ganks after you back to want to go mid or bot. If your enemy top lane is melee, consider the lane 1. Every time you go in, you can vault and do more damage to them. If they are auto attack heavy, you blind them. If you suspect some ganks, you can W. And if you're in real trouble, you can ult away or even flash towards your tower, then vault over a close range enemy because you go farther away from the enemy the closer you are when you vault him. And if you want to be even a more evil human being, rush a frozen mallet and watch you kite more than fucking Callista. Quintop is horrifying, if done right. You need practice with it though. And while your late game isn't very strong, you will completely zone out the enemy top laner and deny them of all farm, force top lane pressure from their jungler, and probably kill them in the process. Every time I fight my friends with her, I am generally raged against, camped, or not spoken to for a few days. She is complete and literal cancer, and I fucking love it. An ally has been slain. Killing spree. So there you guys go. The top five champions that will make you a total dick in top lane. Go play these champs, but don't be mean about it. Smile, have fun, enjoy yourself. Don't be a bully and don't be mean. Just crush your enemies into a small paste of salt, tears, and zoned minions. Hope you enjoyed, and if you did, like and subscribe and do all that silly shit I'm supposed to say at the end of a video. And thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that I ruined your solo cues. Bye-bye.